What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, following along with some of the previous side dishes that we did, I'm making a typical Italian broccoli rabe. The, one of the last videos that I did that was kind of a vegetable dish was green peas, and you could check that video out here. This is a very different recipe, and this is gonna be more of a technique that you can use to cook some of your more robust greens. So things like kale, collard greens, things that kind of have a lot, a lot of um, fibrous, dark green type thing, you can use this technique to cook. Broccoli rabe or rapini or broccoli rabe or you know, whatever, whatever name you want to call it is like a, a broccoli weed kind of. It's very bitter, it's got a lot of greens. In fact, this has a lot more stalks than greens and typically you may, you may even see even less of the florets when you buy broccoli rabe. It, I, I like to buy this Whole Foods version that's frozen, and in that version, it's actually more leafy than anything. It's almost like a like a frozen spinach. So you can use this technique with fro any kind of frozen vegetable that's kind of a darker green. But today we're using fresh broccoli rabe, which I got at the market. I got an entire bunch, which is like this much here, which I rinsed. You got to rinse your broccoli rabe. I, I got that for like three bucks. This volume of broccoli rabe, it's like a gallon's worth of broccoli rabe. It's gonna cook down to almost nothing. You know, buy, buy a lot of this and it'll, it'll cook down. I, trust me, it's, it's gonna, you're, you're gonna wish that you bought more, even though this looks like a lot. As far as what you need for this recipe, there's really not much to it, just fresh garlic. I almost contemplated using the entire thing, but these are actually really big cloves. And I figured since that's gonna cook down a lot, I'll just use a few of these cloves, maybe four for that side, for that amount of broccoli rabe. All right, we'll call it three because one of these is just ridiculous. Other than that, salt, pepper, olive oil, and you can use crushed red pepper. I have these pepperoncino, which are these cute little dried chili peppers. And what you do is you, you crush these in your fingers and it like basically makes crushed red pepper. These have a little bit more flavor than your typical crushed red pepper, which is more heat than anything. And then the, the other thing that, that's helpful is some stock. I'm gonna use chicken stock today but if you don't have stock, water is gonna be just fine. As far as serving, th this is a dish that really goes with any kind of protein, but it really thrives with something like a braised chicken breast or chicken thigh, you know, something that's nice and slow cooked in that way, or I, I like it with sausage. So today what I'm gonna do is, I have some sausages roasting in the oven. I'm gonna just put this on a sandwich. I got, you know, kind of a little sub roll and a sandwich with some provolone cheese, broccoli rabe, and a hot, hot Italian sausage, nice and roasted, nice and nice. So good, let's get to prepping. There's really only two things that you need to do to prepare for this. You, the broccoli rabe, you, you need to cut it down. You, you really can't cook it like this. I mean, I guess you can. It'll leave more of like a strand and you want this to kind of be more like a spread, kind of something you can eat with a fork. So I'm gonna cut this into like one inch pieces and it's a rough chop, nothing too precise. And then the garlic, you wanna slice up nice. I, I, I'll say you want a little bit more texture than like the good fellas with a razor blade. You don't wanna to go too crazy like that, but slices in that regard is just fine. And that's basically what we're gonna do right now. Now in the meantime, I have a pan heating over medium heat. You want something nice and big enough to hold everything. And you also kind of want a nice flat pan so that you'll have a lot of surface area to cook the broccoli rabe. From start to finish, as soon as the garlic hits the pan, it takes about 20, 25 minutes to cook. So you see, just like that. Nothing too crazy. I, I, these aren't even terribly consistent. I got one really thin one, one really thick one. Hey, whatever, who cares? Now this, we're gonna go in to our pan here. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You could use any kind of fat you like here. I would say don't use butter just because it'll burn. But if you want to use bacon fat for a little extra flavor, that would be just nice. You want to use coconut oil, but the, the traditional is olive oil. Straight in. The garlic, so you hear that sizzle. Now you don't want the garlic to get any color on it. You just want this to, to start sauteing. And that's where the broccoli rabe comes in. With the broccoli rabe, it's okay if it's a little wet because that's actually gonna help you slow down the cooking a little bit. And this, I'll show you, like we, you can do like a nice little rough chop. Nothing too crazy. If you have big chunks at the end, it's fine. Should've used a larger cutting board. So move your garlic around. When it starts to get nice and fragrant, which it is right now, that's when I'm gonna go in with my broccoli rabe. Fistfuls of broccoli rabe. Now, you gotta be careful because this is wet. It's gonna start to pop. You hear that? Okay. 
Now at this point, you want to add a little salt. Don't go too crazy with the salt. The salt's just going to help it break down a little more. At the end, we're going to adjust, adjust the seasoning. I'm also going to go in right now with a little bit of the chili pepper. Not a lot. And then just move it around. Already cooked down quite a lot. Right, now when you reach this point, that's when you go in with a little bit more. So that was cooking for maybe three minutes. The liquid's going to slow it down and turn this more into a braise, which you, you definitely want. And there's a few reasons for that. I roasted up some sausages. Pull that out. Beautiful. Because broccoli rabe is such a bitter green, it benefits from a longer cooking time at a higher heat. Because this is so fibrous also, that'll also help break it down and make it nice and chewy. You want this to kind of be melt in your mouth while, while you're eating through the, the, you don't want to bite into thick stalks of, of broccoli, especially thick, bitter stalks of broccoli. So take your time with it. A lot of times people will actually blanch the broccoli rabe before they um, cook it. But to me, I find that that actually removes a lot of the nutrients and also a lot of the taste. The, the bitterness is one of those things that it mellows out if you take the time into cooking it. Be patient with it. This is one of those things, so don't, don't rush this. You, you set it, you mix it every couple minutes and that's it. Don't, don't rush. Checking back in with our broccoli rod, you can see there's no liquid in there. You want this to be nice and dry, you don't want it to be too wet, but you also need, you need liquid in there to actually cook it down. So by the end of this, it's all gonna be nice and caramelized. Add a little more stock, a couple tablespoons at a time. That looks good. So far we've been cooking for about eight minutes now. You can see the green leaves literally wilted away to nothing. So we're left with basically these stalks. And also, that, notice I added maybe a half a teaspoon of salt when I started. You, you, if you over salt it and this cooks way down, it's gonna be way too concentrated. So salt it a little bit at the beginning to help break down some of the, the fibrousness of the vegetable. And then at the end, we'll, we'll adjust the seasoning. All right, now, now that it's nice and bright green like that, I'm gonna go in with one last addition of stock, about a quarter cup. And then once that cooks down, I'm gonna let the, the heat of the pan continue to cook down the, the, the garlic with the oil and the broccoli rabe, and then do one final caramelization in the pan. These stalks are nice, nice and tender at this point. Now, if you have leafier broccoli rabe, you can cook this a little bit less time, maybe 12, 15 minutes. But the longer you cook it, the better the flavors are gonna be. Because you're gonna, that garlic's gonna get allowed to caramelize a little bit. And also there's, there are sugars in the vegetable that will result in more caramelization over a longer period of time. So like I said, take your time with it. This is not something that's gonna be ready in three or four minutes, but you know, 20 minutes, you know, get it started and set it and forget it. So the liquid's gone. You know that because the sizzle has gotten higher. So let this cook in the pan and cook down at this point. Now, this is where the final caramelization is gonna happen. And in the meantime, I'm actually gonna take a little bite for seasoning, see how, it, how it's seasoned. So I'm just a little black pepper. I like it spicy, so I'll put in a bunch of this stuff. A little more salt. <clears throat> All right. When you could start to feel the chili in your lungs, it's done. So that's it. And also you see the, the bottom of the pan getting a little bit brown. So pull it off the heat, let it sit for a minute, and let's assemble a sandwich. What I have here is a small little sub roll, kind of like a little larger than a hot dog bun that I'm gonna just slice down the middle. Just like that, a little provolone cheese. I just warmed it up a little bit. Let's go on, we're gonna go two sausages today. It's a two sausage day. Just like that, star of the show here. Broccoli rabe. How's it look, guys? Let's taste it. Whoa. It's falling apart on me. This is like a, like a fancy hot dog, basically. So let's take a bite. All right, now that's delicious. 
broccoli rabe is not the type of food that you really want to go in go all in with a fork it's definitely something that you it it really accents other things and there's kind of a bitterness to it and also a sweetness to it that works well against some other stuff so let's talk about the assembly of this here italian sausage i think is a great medium for broccoli rabe because it's kind of fatty and also gets a nice little caramelization when it cooks and provolone cheese has a little bit of a sharpness to it now if you really want to go over the top with something like this shave a little bit of like aged sharp provolone over top that would be like money i couldn't find any at the store so i kind of had to settle for the deli sliced provolone cheese which is just fine so this is very good if you're going to make this like you know serve it with like a chicken breast it would go really good over rice really good with pasta you can use this in a ton of different ways try it with some other dark greens oh wow I'm now getting hit with all the spice between the hot sausage and the broccoli rabe. And don't don't hesitate to add some extra heat to this because the heat is kind of the, the beauty of this type of dish. The, the bitterness and the sweetness and the heat, it kind of, it's really one of the more perfect vegetables perfect. really when you think about it. Most vegetables are kind of tasteless and really have no complexity, whereas broccoli rabe is all complexity. Very good, very, very good, very, very, very good. Very, 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 very good. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget, give it a like. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that are coming up on the screen here. I'll throw some playlists on there with some recipes, maybe a couple recipes, maybe a dining review or something. Check them out, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.